Hello everyone. The project is presented by the final year civil student. The project topic being design and analysis of G plus 15 multi-storied residential building for Lucknow region. The project guide is Ms. J R Rajpriya Darshini from the civil department, Valdeki University. The project is presented by the three students. The name being Banu Pratap Singh, Adityanath Chaudhary, and Mr. Abhishek Pandey. The contents of the project are introduction, the course that were followed, a statement of the project, loads on the structure, objectives and structural design, design and analysis and references. Introduction The project is based on the design and analysis of multi-story building and the analysis was completely done using the STAT Pro. Notation was adopted using the code books such as IS 456-2000. Need for the study. As per the provisional census 2015, the population of Lucknow has seen a decadal growth of 25.79%. So to accommodate this large population, the need for the high-rise buildings such as G plus 15 multi-story buildings is extremely ne necessary. The city is undergoing a transition wherein the independent houses has seen some changes towards the taste for multinational building. Literature review. These are the various who have collected some various literature reviews that were presented by some authors and the writers based on the previous journal. The first one is Dr. Suchita Ede, which wrote about by the virtue of its height, multi-story buildings are affected by lateral forces due to wind or earthquake or both to an extent that they play an important role in the structural design. The second literature review that was collected was produced by Anshuman S. Shear walls have very high in plane stiffness and strength which can be used to simultaneously resist large horizontal loads and support gravity loads, making them quite advantageous in many structural engineering applications. The third one was Yogendra Singh and he writes, the mathematical modeling of the structure is based on certain simplifying assumptions and the understanding of the overall behavior of structure. G.B. Walford. G.B. Walford also wrote the same thing about multi-storied building and he wrote that most of the research effort concerns acoustic insulation and isolation of the separate tenacious within buildings as this is the item that causes most annoyance for occupants. Syed Mohammed. The Syed Mohammed writes that the objectives of this research is to assess the seismic performance of an existing shear wall residential building located in Cairo. As we have seen that Cairo uh, is a highly earthquake prone area. So in earthquake prone area, this understanding of the seismic forces and the seismic resistance loads that are very important to be implemented. Both dynamic response spectrums and equivalent static force methods are used in the seismic analysis. LIB Dufield and Houston that was published in 2009. The influence of non-structural components on the serviceability performance of high-rise buildings. Australian Journal of Sterling Engineering Volume 10. Methodology. This is the methodology that we have been following during our course of project. First is the preliminary survey. After the preliminary survey, we have done the planning and the planning is done using the AutoCAD. Designing and analysis is completely done using StatPro. Shear force and bending moment calculation have been done using different ports. Design and detailing of reinforcement has been using, dif using different specimens such as specimen 13 and specimen 64, 34. Measurements to withstand lateral forces such as the wind loads has been done. The estimation has been done and finally, finally the execution of the planning has been done. Site condition. Considering the Lucknow region, the climatic condition of Lucknow varies from semi-arid to subtropical monsoon time. Water table is 10 to 20 mbgl. Seismic zone. It is very important to note the seismic zone. The Lucknow is located in seismic zone 3. Wind force. The wind force in Lucknow has an average air pressure of about 1005 HPA. The soil type is deep layer of alluvial soil. Floor plan. This is the floor plan which shows the kitchen, the living room, lobby, bedroom, toilet and the master bedroom. Course. The different course that has been followed during the designing are IS 456-2000 for the design code of RCC structures, IS 875 part 1 code for dead loads, IS 875 part 2 code for imports loads and IS 875 part 3 for the wind loads. Details of building. The details of buildings are follows. Utility of building. It's a residential building and the number of stories is G plus 15. Shape of the building is rectangular. Number of staircases used are 16 numbers and the type of wall is a brick wall. This is the view of the building. It's G plus 15 building with all the mentions such as it's rectangular and shape and also. Geometric details. The geometric details of the building being the ground floor is 9 meter. Floor height is 3 meter, height of the plinth is 0.6 above ground level and the depth of foundation is 2 meter below the ground level. 
material detail. The concrete pieces that are used at M25, the grade of steel that is used is high yield strength steel that is HY SD bars. Reinforcement of grade FE415. Bearing capacity of the soil in Lucknow where this project is located is 200 kN per meter square. The type of construction that is followed is reinforced con cement concrete frame structures that is RCC frame structures. Different types of load on the structure. The different types of loads that are acting on the structure are the design load, imposed loads and the wind loads. As it is a very high building, G plus 15, the consideration of wind loads are extremely essential. Dead loads. Involves self weight of RCC slab, beams and columns, plinth and the walls. Imposed loads. Imposed loads are also known as the live loads. Load over the floor, that is the load of person, it is calculated at 0.2 kN per meter square. The load is applied over the length of the structure, over the entire length of the structure. Wind loads. Wind is air in motion. Wind loads are calculated according to IS 875 part 3. Intensity of wind and exposure are applied in the direction as required. Load combination. The structure should be analyzed for combination of loads as in practice. We have number of loads in various direction act. Some of the combination to be checked are 1.5 that is dead load plus live load, 1.5 dead load per wind load. These are basically the load combinations that are used. Objectives of structural design. A structure design should satisfy the criterion of ultimate strength. A structure should satisfy the serviceability. It should satisfy the stability against various forces such as overturning, sliding and buckling forces. The main objectives of the design are foundation design, column design, beam design and the slab design. Design principle assumption and notation assume. The notation assumed throughout the work is same as in IS 456-2000. Assumption. The various assumptions are made for the designing procedure. The assumptions are using partial safety factors for load in the columns with clause 36.4 of IS 456-2000. Partial safety factor for material in accordance with clause 36.4.2 IS 456-2000 is taken as 1.5 for concrete and 1.15 for steel. The partial safety factors is used according to the clause 36.4 of IS 456-2000 and the combination of load that is used are dead loads plus live load into 1.5, dead loads plus live load plus wind load into 1.2. Density of materials used. The various density of the materials are the plain concrete, the density is 24 kN per meter cube. For reinforcement concrete, for reinforced concrete it is 25 kN per meter cube. Floor material it is 20 kN per meter cube. Brick masonry 9 kN per meter cube and fly as 5 kN per meter cube. Live loads are in accordance with IS 875-86. The live load on slab is taken as 3 kN per meter square. Live load on passage is taken as 3 kN per meter square. And live load on stair is also taken as 3 kN per meter square. The structural design. For slabs, the depth is provided 130 mm and minimum depth is 90 mm. Factored load on the slab is taken as 12 kN per meter. For beams, after calculation are done, the dimension of the beam, that is length by breadth, is 230 into 350. Breadth, I am sorry, breadth by depth is 230 by 350 mm. Factored load on beam is 15.87 kN per meter. Shape of the column is rectangular. For columns, the dimension of column is 230 into 500 mm. Factored load on the column is 1090.1 kN. For footings, the bearing capacity of soil, as discussed earlier, is 200 kN per meter square, that is the shape bearing capacity of the soil. To provide the dimension of footing, we have provided a rectangular footing with the size 1.5 meter into 2.7 meter. Plan and section of the footing. This is the plan and section of the footing and the detailments and the the size of the rods that are used is 10 mm, the diameter of the wall and the spacing is 190 center to center. Column reinforcement. The column reinforcement are as follows. It, is shows, it shows the various lateral reinforcements that has been used. It is shown both for the elevation as well as for the section, section A and section B. Beam reinforcement. This is the beam reinforcement. The details is su suitable for suspended beams. 12 to 18 inches deep by 18 inches wide supporting a 6 inches thick shaft. The width of base became should not be greater than the beam span. Analysis. Analysis is done using StatPro. Once the load and load combinations are assigned to the structure, analysis is to be done. And analysis is done for the RCC structure. This is the skeleton view. Assign the properties of the structure. This is assigning of bridges properties. Load distribution on member and plate. These are the load distribution on various members and the various plates. load assigned on the walls. These are the loads that have been assigned on the wall. The loads that are taken by the walls, 
are shown using this diagram. Assigning wind loads on the structure. As we have mentioned above, wind speed and the wind direction is extremely essential for the construction of high rise buildings. So these are the wind directions and the wind load that has been shown in the figure. RCC analysis. Code is assigned as IS456-2000. The parameters are assigned to the structure. Commands given are concrete design and member takeoff. Work plan. These are the work plan. That is the literature January, February. These are the references of the project. Dr. Suchita Irde, M. Vinay Magnum and Ansuman S. Dipendu. Syed Mohammed, Dr. Gio, World Week, Biswas, JK, 1974. And the conclusion. The conclusion of this project is the importance of wind force prevailing is considered for the superstructure. Design of footings, columns, beams and slabs are done manually using limit state method as per IS code books that has been followed. The residential apartment building having all facilities like entrance with foyer, living, dining, puja room, bedroom, dressing room, study room, guest room, kitchen and bathroom and toilet etc. with a very good water supply and sanitary arrangements has been done.